Well, the operator of a North Las Vegas daycare where a child drowned yesterday may be criminally charged. An investigation is being conducted into the drowning and near drowning at Maricela's, Maricela's family daycare. Uh, care. Uh, Eyewitness News reporter Allison McCarthy spoke with officials involved in that investigation today. She joins us live from North Las Vegas City Hall with the latest. Allison. Yes, Dave, police investigators still are not saying how those two young boys, a one-year-old and a three-year-old, ended up getting into the backyard alone where they fell into the pool. The one-year-old died yesterday. The three-year-old, we understand, is in good condition. But we are learning more tonight about the daycare provider herself, both from her neighbors and from licensing officials. Sad as sad can be, ma'am. There's no, um, nothing worse than that, you know. Parents go to, go to work and they come home and find out the Lord's taking their kids. North Las Vegas residents Pat Nixon and Jenny Pham live next door to Maricela's in-home daycare. They are coming to their neighbor's defense tonight. They were quiet people, nice people, just an accident. Somebody turned their back on the child and if anybody has kids, no, you turn it back for a second. Anything can happen. It wasn't their fault. But police and prosecutors might not see it that way. Their criminal investigation continues, and they've said formal charges could be filed. North Las Vegas business licensing officials say Maricela's daycare was licensed to care for up to six children under a single provider. That license was issued by North Las Vegas exactly one year ago. We did not have any complaints against that particular property. We also know Maricela's daycare passed its initial inspection, which meant it had to have an audible alarm on the interior door leading out to the pool. Although safety fence requirements for daycare providers do not differ from any other homeowner. The only gate that's required is where? On the on the perimeter of the property itself, but no gate provision from the house to the pool. But that could change after yesterday's drowning. I think anytime there's a, a tragedy or an incident such as this, it's an opportunity for the city or any of the agencies that are involved in this particular licensing process to take a look at the existing laws and ordinances to see if we can prevent these types of things from happening in the future. Back live, we asked North Las Vegas business licensing officials to check out the overall safety record of its licensed in-home child care providers. Officials told us today, as far as they're aware, yesterday's drowning was the first time a child has ever died at a licensed child care facility in North Las Vegas. They also told us to remind all child care providers, parents, daycare providers, grandparents, anyone who's in charge of watching children, that constant supervision is the only way to make sure what happened yesterday doesn't happen again.